All right, so we're posted up out here at the Hobby Town. What's up? Uh, but I actually seen a couple of these in a couple places, so we're gonna hit this one up. Um, hobby, so I'm here to hopefully find an RC car. Oh shit, I forgot I had my ladder back there. Hopefully nobody steals that shit. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go in there and try to find an RC car, see what they got, try to film maybe the store because I haven't been in any of these stores. but they hooked it up they had the car i was exactly looking for i mean not exactly i wanted the s15 but this is a good starter kit so i got the starter kit and i'm hype y'all i'm so hype i'm gonna get home plug this up put it to charge and uh get this on i'm hype yo hype as hell <laughs> i got the body got the kit <laughs> Nah, it's pretty cool. I'm excited. So, get that. And got all the stuff to start the game. So I'm going to do a video of this uh, charger and storage. Um, it was $65.99 and this is the Prodigy 610 Easy. So 10 amps and it's also storage. So just do a look at the box here and it was $65 at a local hobby town store so look at this seal and I have the battery here as well So it's got charger, structure, instruction manual. Charger, cables, and the main cable here. 
check this out. And so it seems pretty, pretty good solid weight. Doesn't seem cheap. It seems, seems pretty decent. I was recommended this by the dudes at the store, so got a good feeling it's gonna it's gonna work out pretty good. So here's the uh, charger here. Like I said, it's got a pretty decent lightweight. And this is the battery I bought. Um, I don't know if it's... This was $45. Um, Alright, so I got it pretty much charging. Um, so what I did was take out the battery. Positive and negative. Be very careful um, not to uh, change them up because I almost did. So look at them very carefully. Positive, negative. Don't get excited like I did. Positive, negative. The balancer is plugged up so that the battery charges evenly. All the cells. So that's up there. I was told you don't need that for when you're uh, using the car. It's only for charging. So got that plugged up. And I got it turned on. So show you guys how to set it up really fast. Stop it. So when you turn it on, it should show this LiPo battery. And this one is 5,000 LiPo battery. So start, 5,000 LiPo battery. I don't mess too much with the settings as long as I know it's charging for the 5,000 amp. I'm gonna go ahead and just push this. Hear that? And it's starting to charge. So it's got the timer. It's got the amps. And voltage. So. Charging. Pretty nice. 13%. Right, Let's kill it. So here we have my new RC car. I picked it up at... Hobby Lobby, or not, not Hobby Lobby, I'm just tripping. I <laughs> uh, picked it up at Hobby Town. Picked up battery and charger. Here. I get some body clips too. Body clips. Spoiled. But, anyways. I'm doing an unboxing of the RMX MSTs, and I actually ended up going with the BRZ body, Toyota 86 or whatever. That's pretty cool. It's a rear-wheel drive. Oh, my first RC car, so I'm hype. I already sliced it at the bottom, so let's get this opened up.
on it came with red wheels. Look at the paint job. I should clean it in your show car, bro. All right, cool. I like this. Super cool. Sit that down. So I'm still kind of looking at this. This is so G. This is cool. Yeah, some tools on here. So you can kind of see it where I had to make the holes. Not a big deal, um, but you will need a drill and a drill bit um, to make those. They kind of have like small indentations onto where to drill it. So no worries on making it precise. It kind of gives you a guideline of where to set them up. So here are the little pins. Um, let me see if I can fix my camera here. And take the pins off so I can show you guys the actual car. I had to buy these pins. They do not come with the car set. So be sure to pick these up and don't lose them because I already lost two of them. Um, actually already also lost a screw for the wheel because I didn't tighten it on my cart or good enough. So literally I was drifting it and like the wheel popped off and then I couldn't find the screw. So it's um. It's a little dirty, but check out the paint. It's like a nice baby sky blue. 